My name is Travis Pastrana. I'm an action sports athlete and ringleader of the Nitro Circus. Nitro Circus has been kind of the action sports group that has chased big air, that has tried to do stuff that's never been done before, world's first, biggest ramps. It's not about doing the same thing slightly better than somebody else. It's about doing something that no one else ever thought was possible. The stunt today is basically, I'm gonna be doing a backflip from one barge to another barge in heavy wind in front of the O2 Arena. The barge to barge was actually thought of first uh, by a guy named Mike Metzger. He was one of the greatest freestyle riders of all time and it pretty much ended his career. When you're doing a, some kind of barge, especially on a river, any undulation of, of change of the ramp angle or the other ramp going up or down makes a huge difference in where you land. And especially if you're doing a backflip, you don't see, okay, the landing went up five feet. That seems like a big deal, but if your takeoff goes down five feet, that, that's suddenly a huge deal. And there's not a lot of run in, there's not a lot of run out. So if you make any mistakes, you're going into the water. We've had massive problems over the last two days with the tide. Obviously we knew this river was tidal, but yesterday they had exceptionally high water and so we tried to set the barges up. Basically the, the legs which go into the bed to keep it relatively stable, they pulled out um, because the water got too high and so we had to give up yesterday. The, the variables which we never normally have that are obviously in this stunt are lining two barges up that are rocking around on the water because the takeoff has to be exactly in line with the landing and the distance has to be exact as well. And obviously the movement on the barges, no one really knows, no one, we haven't done it before, no one's ever done it before. And so normally we have a safety bag on the front, and, but today we, we can't do that because we have to make the gap look as spectacular as possible. So I mean, he's got to clear it. There's no margin for error. Travis can't judge the distance, we have to tell him what the distance is. And so if he's got to jump 75 feet, he's going to jump 75 foot. And so if I've made it 85 foot, he's going to come up short. For me, I feel like muscle memory does most of it. I know how to ride a motorcycle. I know how to get my speed right, my distance right. I know how to slow down a flip, speed up a flip. The hardest part is there's so many variables that are outside of our control for this particular jump. It, it makes it a lot more nerve-wracking for the, for the rider, for me. Usually in a backflip, you know exactly where you are, you know where the landing is. But I've never ridden that motorcycle before. I've got my suspension on it, but I'm not sure exactly how fast it goes. During the flip, instead of just relaxing, I'm probably going to be just head up, looking for that landing and figuring out if I got to speed up the rotation or slow it down, or if I'm just going to completely miss and hit the water. So, we'll see what happens. This is an awesome day, man. Sun came out, beautiful. Had a pretty good side wind, uh, but it was fairly consistent, so yeah. aimed a little left, and it's like a golf ball. Blew me right back to the center, so we're perfect. No, for sure, for sure shaking. I mean, this morning, like I said, just if this is calm and it's okay, you're like, all right, nine out of ten times I'm landing that, I'm gonna be okay. But, you know, when it's go time, all you guys came out and were like, oh man. I mean, no, it could, could have been more beautiful. Definitely, uh, you know, taking one of these pictures and, and putting it up in the house. So thank you guys for coming out. And this, is, uh, this is a really cool day for me. <laughs>